Hi, this is Dr. Gary and welcome to the Daily Tune-Up today. Let's talk a little bit about love and a little bit about forgiveness and some of the things I talk about a lot, but let's look at it a little bit differently. Many of you emailed me yesterday wanting to know about that last tag line I had on the tune-up yesterday. It says, love heals life. Do you remember a day, maybe some of you are too young to remember the day, but there was a much kinder and gentler time. And as we move into progression of technology, of living life faster, what happens is we seem to lose a lot of our humanity along with that. As we move into the holiday season, one of the things we have to pay attention to is, as a human race, where are we headed? Right now, if we're headed into a place that seems like we're headed, full of cynicism, anger, frustration, resentment, greed, and really, really turning on our brothers, sisters, and our family members, we have to think about that. What's causing that? You know, it's biblical that said that could happen in the end times. However, right now, are we in the end times? Even if we are, we're still living and we have to go day by day. We have to pay attention to our lives. The thing we have to realize is love can heal everything. And what I mean by love is not necessarily romantic love, but the love of life, the love of yourself, and the love of other people. And understanding if all these other people weren't around, this would be a pretty lonely place. Also, it's the people in your life that make it interesting. Not only because they bring on a diverse group of interests and personalities and things going on that just can't happen if we didn't have the mix of all the different kinds of people we have. The key is, is we have to pay close attention to our cynicism and what we're doing with other people and are we able to receive love and are other people giving us love. What I'm seeing right now is a society that's heading towards anger and frustration. Many people are saying right now that we're at a paradigm shift to where we're going to have to become more enlightened. A lot of the BS is going to have to stop. I'm not so sure that's not correct. However, a lot of the BS that has to stop is our own BS in ourselves. If you're angry about something today, or if something isn't going the way you want it, there might be a higher spiritual place where you have to go right now to understand very possibly it's taking you to a better place. Anything worthwhile is difficult. Einstein said, hard is good, easy is bad. And what he meant by that is, if we're doing things that are hard, we're learning, we're growing, we're creating new things, new neurons, new ideas, new possibilities, and going where we haven't gone before. If we insist on living a life that's easy without challenges and problems, we're going to be resting on our laurels and the world and society is going to pass us by and we're going to be left in the dust. We have to struggle in order to thrive. So today, if you're angry and cynical, let's take a look at love again. Where did the love go? We've got to start loving each other again and taking care of each other better than we are. This is a good time of year where you can really reach out to someone and it's not about buying a gift or a package for someone. It's about taking care of the people in your life and even if you're having challenges with someone in your life, love them anyway. Very possibly the challenges they're giving you are going to help you grow to a whole new place. Let's at least consider that right now and take a good look at ourselves and our own cynicism and being sarcastic and, and looking at other people with judgment. And let's really take a good hard look at ourselves and are we worthy, are we perfect? Do we have fault ourselves that we could be working on rather than focusing on other people's? Let's take a look at that for the rest of this week and through the weekend and understand that as we grow, we may have struggles. Struggles are not a bad thing. Einstein said they're good. Until next time, this is Dr. Gary wishing you an extraordinary day. Bye-bye.